New Wave Community Media. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> Welcome back to Beats Community Voices. I am your host, Imani, and we're here, we're together for our 29th episode. Now, I'm sure if you are a regular listener, you know we have been we've been we haven't been as consistent as we usually are but you know life happens transitions happen um but we want to thank you for sticking in (laughs) if you haven't been here if this is your first time joining us like I said, this is episode 29, so after you listen to this one, or perhaps before, there are 28 other episodes for you to check out and enjoy. Now, we still have our call to action, <laughs> requesting and hoping that you subscribe to us on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you listen to your podcast. That way you can be notified about our latest episodes. As always, our goal is to get the episodes out every other Friday. That doesn't always happen. But again, life happens. We're giving ourselves some grace. (laughs) Um, And if you are an artist, writer, singer, rapper, musician, poet, etc. We want to hear from you. So visit us at New Wave Media, that's nuwavemedia.org slash Beats Community Voices, B-E-A-T-Z, to fill out the artist application to have your opportunity to share your skills with our Beats community. We have a strong community, by the way. (laughs) I've met a few of our listeners, so I know we are growing. Now... What are we going to talk about on this episode? Y'all know I like to plan it out. (laughs) The first, there are two topics. There are two topics. They work hand in hand, for me at least. And that is Global Wellness Day and Father's Day. Now I'll get a little bit more into both of those um, after our first song it's titled reveries by ran the man check it out enjoy and like i said when we come back we'll talk a little bit more about global wellness day and of course father's day see you on the other side
introduction back into our smooth mellow house vibe it kind of encompasses the energy that we typically go for during these episodes we like that relaxing it's the weekend let's chill let's get us a cocktail or a mocktail or a nice cup of tea and just get our minds together (laughs) get our minds together which is something um that kind of aligns with global wellness day so i went to global wellness globalwellnessday.org to get some additional information about this holiday because i didn't know about it until i looked it up for the episode So it's been celebrated on the second Sunday in June since 2012. So yes, the second Sunday has passed, but (laughs) we can still discuss, right? This is a safe space. (laughs) So the goals are to recognize the value of our lives, to pause and think even if for just one day of the year, to be free from the stress of everyday city life and bad habits, to make peace with ourselves, and to raise awareness about living well and increasing motivation, not just today, but for the remaining 364 days of the year. Now that is something that I can get behind. You know, life is, life can be (laughs) lifey. Adulting can do its adulting. Sometimes it's nice just to take a beat, take a beat, take a breath, and refocus and recenter so I support (laughs) I support I feel like I might take a wellness day once a week (laughs) I need I love a good reset it's 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 essential for me what about y'all is global wellness day something that you'll now implement in your schedule maybe hmm If you're thinking about it, maybe you can send the podcast to someone who, I don't know, is maybe really into wellness or is considering getting into wellness and say, hey, did you know that there's a whole day for this? Mm -hmm. And they talked about it on Beats Community Voices. (laughs) So in alignment with that, (laughs) our next song is titled Solar Healing by Some Wave. Now, when we come back, I want to talk about a few of the ways that we can pro- promote wellness before I talk more about Father's Day. Mm-hmm. This episode, I'm excited for this episode because like I said, these two kind of work hand in hand for me. Um, I enjoy talking about wellness. Um always love to think about and talk about my father so mm-hmm. i'll see y'all enjoy enjoy solar healing Thank you. 
There are a few places that solar healing takes me. <laughs> One is taking a walk in the park, enjoying the sun, enjoying the day. But the other one, oh, no, no, no. Well, yeah, okay, yeah. So that, three places. Like I said, a walk in the park. Or maybe you're waiting in an elevator. This is kind of sounds like elevator music, nice, chill. Um, or that kind of 80s, you call into a business and they have you on hold. So they give you like some real cool, chill vibes to listen to in the meantime. I don't know. My mind is always going places. <laughs> <laughs> but I hope you all enjoyed solar healing, which is, you know, maybe getting out in the sun can be a way that you can promote wellness in your life. Some other things or other activities that I identify are meditation. Um, I, so I don't meditate as often as I would like to. Um, but I was raised in a household with a mother who meditates. Shout out to you, girl. My mom will not leave the house without meditating. Um, and believe it or not, during law school, I actually led guided meditations for some of the students and um, professors. Listen, law school is stressful enough. Sometimes you have to be reminded to get out of your head, into your body, take some deep breaths like... Oh, and and a lot of people, what I hear often is that, oh, I can't meditate because I get distracted. That's the whole point. <laughs> That's the whole point. It's OK to get distracted. It's OK for your thoughts. Your mind is doing what the mind does. It sorts through all the information that you're learning and wondering about and the tasks and chores that you have to do. Um, but over time. You kind of learn to observe those thoughts rather than feeling as if you have to act on them immediately. Just a little note, <laughs> perhaps if you all would like for me to get back into that guided meditation bag, just let us know. Write us an email. Go to our website, newwavemedia.org slash Beats Community Voices, and let us know what you think. I Maybe I can add a brief little guided meditation to one of the mindful minutes. Who knows? Just let me know. Another thing that you can do is to practice yoga. Now, this is yoga is my jam. <laughs> now, I kind of practiced off and on for a few years before I became really consistent about two years ago. And it has significantly increased the quality of my life. Not just... Um, like the flexibility aspect of it but you know it's it's a whole mental physical emotional 
experience in addition to building some really beautiful um, communities through practicing yoga so listen if y'all want me to talk more about that I can go on and on and on but I uh, and it's not easy don't think it's just a little you know one two no it's gonna it's gonna push you I felt um, pushed and motivated in ways that I never even imagined. Another activity, drawing, um, doing a puzzle, taking a walk, disconnecting from your phone. I, listen, y'all don't wanna see my screen time on my iPhone. It is, uh, let's not even go there. <laughs> but the last, the last activity that I have to promote wellness and celebrate Global Wellness Day is to just rest. It's so underrated. Just rest. Take a seat. Take some deep breaths. Journal. Get those thoughts out your head and just relax. Now, that's enough about Global Wellness Day. I hope you all check it out. I hope you perhaps add it to your calendar. Now, um, when we come back, we're going to talk about Father's Day. But in the meantime, I hope you all check out This Is My Island by Pure Indigo. Enjoy. This is such a dreamy vibe. It really does take me to an island. I don't have any island vacations coming up, but thank you, Pure Indigo, for at least allowing me to visit that place mentally. Now, Father's Day, Father's Day is coming up. <laughs> so according to census.gov, 72, there are 72 million fathers across the nation with 29 million also being grandfathers. Shout out to y'all. 
1966, then President Lyndon Johnson issued a proclamation setting aside the third Sunday in June to honor fathers. Father's Day has been celebrated annually since 1972 when then President Nixon signed a law making it a permanent national holiday. If you didn't know. <laughs> so according to the, <laughs> let me pull up my notes. The National Retail Federation Father's Day spending is expected to reach $22.4 billion this year, which is the second highest figure in the survey's history and on par with 2023's record of $22.9 billion. Now, what are people buying for their fathers and stepfathers and husbands and sons and brothers and friends and grandfathers? <laughs> um... The top five gift categories are, at number one, special outings, number two, clothing, number three, gift cards, number four, electronics, and number five, personal care. What are you getting for the fathers? Now, Though I just gave you some ideas. <laughs> if you are behind, I just gave you a few ideas <laughs> for you to check out. The, the, the possibilities are endless. I hope you feel inspired. And maybe you want to share the podcast with them. Y'all know I love a shameless plug. Like we... <laughs> <laughs> we here at Beats don't mind plugging ourselves because we enjoy the podcast and we hope that others do as well. We've received good feedback. So, yeah, naturally, we're going to plug it. Apple and Spotify or wherever you listen to your podcast. <laughs> Leave a comment. Leave a review positive feedback no <laughs> we we welcome all feedback um yeah i think that's all i have for my statistics and when we come back i'll talk a little bit more about why i decided to combine these two holidays aside from them being a week apart now while you get to subscribing and sharing you can check out haga by wes and xander in the meantime in the background
beautiful, pretty, mellow vibe. You know, we are good for it. <laughs> so, why did I decide to combine these two holidays? Well, um, I think I've mentioned on, I have mentioned on the podcast before that I lost my father on January 1st of 2023. Um, very unexpectedly and it's something that I feel like I'm still um, coping well inevitably I'll be coping with for the rest of my life Um, but wellness practices um, like allowing myself that time to grieve and to mourn and to um, and reminiscing on his memory and channeling that energy into Um, mental and physical practices that kind of um, heal me like a yoga practice have really helped with my grieving process. Um, My dad was a supporter of really anything that I wanted to do. Like when I wanted to get into yoga, he purchased me um, books and DVDs and I feel like he may even threw in a VHS box set um, of um, information about the various yoga practices just because he wanted to support me. Um, He was into martial arts. He was a black belt. Um, He was very well known for his very high kicks and very extreme strength. Um, he was a poet. He was everything. Let me just say that. So I feel closer to my dad when I practice physical and mental wellness activities. Um, and there's something about enriching your life or doing something that you knew that person or you know that person enjoyed or supported that just helps you feel closer to them, more connected or like you're honoring their memory. So having a wellness practice does feel like honoring my father, um, especially because he really enjoyed being physically active. He would share his unbelievable um gym stats with me like he was known to be that guy um he also I remember being a kid going in the grocery store and him flexing his muscles and the women swooning I'm like please sir and if you remember the 90s you know that the fishnet or like netted shirts were a thing oh yeah (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> at the time you know I'm a kid I'm like oh here he is with this net shirt and this fanny pack and these <laughs> workout shoes but you know now the trend is coming back around he was really a trendsetter truly before his time a renaissance man as his colleagues like to say so yes this episode as are all episodes um is important to me um But I especially want to acknowledge that, you know, this is in honor and in memory of my father, the Honorable Victor L. Hill. Um, So when we come back, we have our, well, after our last song. And I, I hate for the last song to come because it means it's time for us to part ways. But after our last song, I'm gonna talk about some of the ways that you can honor your father if he has transitioned and I'll do a Father's Day poem that I found online. Yeah. So enjoy. My ringtone is a voice memo of you last summer. This is a song by Bagel. All right. See y'all.
that gave me a very reflective vibe. I don't know. What did you all think? <laughs> write us in, write into us <laughs> when you subscribe and follow along. Give us some feedback. We want to hear it. Like I said, we're a community. We're a village. Let's, let's, you know, let's vibe out together. Now, for our final segment today, I, I won't lie, y'all. I'm having some technical difficulties over here. <laughs> but we move. So, our last um, piece of our segment is what we can do or things that we can do to honor our fathers. Like I said, if your father has passed, Father's Day may be a difficult time for you. I've already mentioned things you can do if your father is still living, but if not, um, perhaps you can donate to a charity in his honor, plant a tree, I feel like planting trees is kind of a lost art now. Like, it used to be such a big way to memorialize folks, right? Or to, like, celebrate new beginnings. But we don't really talk about tree planting like we used to. Was it a, a 90s thing? A 2000s thing? I don't know. But when I get me a little bit of land somewhere, I'm going to plant a whole garden for my dad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can write a poem or a reflection and rather than being at home alone isolating you can still acknowledge the holiday so do something that he would have enjoyed spend time with your friends and family listen to music that he liked or go somewhere visit someplace that you know he liked to visit or would have enjoyed visiting um the memory still lives on and can live on through you. Now that is our segment before we get into our mindful minutes. Oh y'all. <laughs> I love I love recording this podcast. Um so anytime we get to the end of the episode, I'm like, no. <laughs> I hope you all share that same joy and enthusiasm that I do. Now, the poem that I found for this week is titled In Daddy's Arms by Falami Abiyade. In Daddy's Arms, I am tall and close to the sun and warm. In Daddy's Arms. In daddy's arms, I can see over the fence out back. I can touch the bottom leaves of the big magnolia tree. In cousin Suki's yard, in daddy's arms. In my daddy's arms, the moon is close. Closer at nighttime when I can almost touch it. When it grins back to me from the wide twinkling skies. In daddy's arms, I am tall taller than Benny and my friends Ade and George, taller than Uncle Billy, and best of all, I am eyeball even Steven with my big brother Jamal. In daddy's arms, I am strong and dark like him and laughing, happier than the circus clowns with red painted grins. When daddy spins me round and round, and the whole wide world is crazy upside down. I am big and strong and proud like him. In daddy's arms, my daddy. Beautiful reflection, beautiful poem. Also, ironically, I have an Uncle Billy. <laughs> so I feel like this was written just for me. I felt it. I hope you all felt it as well. Now, this wraps up our 29th episode. We hope to see you back. We hope that you listen and subscribe. We also hope that you check out our website, newwavemedia.org. Um, and if you are an artist, a creative, a storyteller, we want to hear from you. So make sure you go to the website, fill out the artist application. 
and share that beauty, that genius with our Beast community. Um, you can also subscribe to our newsletter so you can stay up to date on this podcast and others on New Wave Community Media. That is all that I have. Our episode is a little longer than usual, but I don't know. Who can check me? (laughs) See you in two weeks, y'all. Peace and blessings.